As promised, I am coming on this evening to show you how to do a really nice and simple hand reflexology routine to help with congestion and inflammation. Um, whilst I'm talking to you, I'm just going to be warming up my hands. Um, when we're stressed, um, we can get very congested and it can lead to sinus issues, not just headaches but sinus problems as well. Our eustachian tube, eyes, ears, nose, throat and also inflammation in our body when we're feeling down and our immunity is low. So I'm going to show you a nice gentle routine that you can do on your hands that your children can copy and follow as well. So I'm focusing on just warming up the top of my hands just now. And I'm going to do both hands and show you. And you just gentle rotation with your wrist. Okay, so if we're thinking about congestion and head related issues, sinus related issues, we're going to want to focus on our head and neck. So I'm going to start by slowly massaging my neck reflex all the way around the base of the thumb. Once I've done my neck a few times, I'm going to slowly massage my head and brain reflex. And right in the centre, as always, our pituitary gland, we're going to press and hold. A very good point for pain relief. So if we're thinking congestion and inflammation and we're feeling run down, we want to focus on the front of our thumb because here is our jaw we may be holding tension in our jaws right below we have our mouth and throat working all the way back down to our neck again Once I've walked the front of my thumb, I can also just give it general massage. Okay, and then with congestion, sinusitis, um, we want to alleviate any tension 
in our eustachian tube, which is this area at the top of our palm, just underneath the base of all of our fingers. And again, most of these moves I show you are exactly the same on the feet. Okay, so once we've done the eustachian tube, um, just in between the webbed part of our fingers and our toes is our lymphatic system, um, which when we're dealing with congestion or inflammation, it's our lymphatic system that's going to help boost our immunity and support getting rid of all those horrible bugs. So we want to massage in between the webbed part of our fingers. Now, this point here we've talked about this before, is our acupressure point with our adrenals. Um, so stress relief, excellent point. It may actually feel quite uncomfortable. Um, if it does, you'll want to hold the point for a minute and release and hold again. And you just want to keep massaging it daily, a few times a day. So I'm just going to do my lymphatics again. Okay, and after that, we want to focus on eye and ear. So eyes and ears, same as the feet, eye reflex, ears. So I'm going to gently and slowly walk up all the base and the side of my fingers. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Okay. So 
when we have a look at the lines across our fingers this top line the first crease is where our sinus point would be so oh mine's bubbling away there if you go across that first crease a couple of times work your sinus point Okay, and then the tips of your fingers, we're going to generally rub them as well. Um, they are believed in Eastern reflexology to be um, connected to the brain. Um, and again, our sinuses, which is the same as the tips of all your toes on the feet. And just generally massage, squeeze and pull your fingers. Okay, so linked to any internal stress if we are dealing with congestion. Um, our cervical and thoracic spine um, can feel tense all related to our neck which is the top part here now I am going to cover the whole spine I believe in reflexology we should always cover the whole spine to help relax our nervous system but just to point out that the very top part of the spine reflex and the next little section down is cervical and thoracic um, which would be feeling quite tender and sore if you were bunged up and feeling low or run down. So I'm going to start at the base of the spine and slowly walk all the way up to the tip. So after that, we're then going to do our chest and lung reflex. We're going to do this on the base of the hand. So it's just the top section of the palm. In between your finger bones. So from here, your diaphragm line and up, so this first section. And then we do exactly the same on the top. So I'm going to use my thumb to gently walk in between my metacarpals.
Okay, so that would be your full routine for helping with congestion and inflammation. So just to go over those points very quickly, we did the head, brain, and pituitary, and our neck. We started with our neck. And then we focused on jaw, nose, throat, and mouth, the whole front area of our thumb. We did the eustachian tube, our lymphatics, and our eyes, and our ears, our sinuses, and then we focused on the spine. And then we did lungs and chest. Okay.